Have you ever wondered if there's a blueprint for life? Well, there is, and I'm gonna show it to you. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Joseph Campbell was a writer who was obsessed with the myths of different cultures. He found it so fascinating that different cultures with no chance of interacting with each other had very similar origin stories and myths passed down from generation to generation. He found every single culture had one shared myth that he labeled the hero's journey. An unlikely hero goes out into the world, experiences trials and tribulations, overcomes their demons, conquers evil, and comes home victorious with wisdom to share. He saw it so many times in so many cultures that he labeled each step of the journey and theorized that it is the blueprint to a life well lived and believed all of our lives have the potential for our own hero's journey if we're willing to step out into the unknown and risk it all. This video will analyze Israel Adesanya's hero's journey in conjunction with Neo from The Matrix. The reason we're analyzing The Matrix is because the creators use the hero's journey as a template to create the movie. The first step in the hero's journey, ordinary life. Life is good, but somewhat boring, and the hero longs for more. For Israel Adesanya, he was studying science and computer design at the Universal College of Learning in Wanganui. I went to design school to study animation just because I wanted to be able to create. But to be honest, I went there too early because I wasn't mature enough to be able to handle the workload. A poor student in school who was failing many classes, he was somewhat of a drifter without direction in life. Neo was a computer programmer. With an unfulfilling, safe career and a boss he didn't like, he had done everything right but seemed to be missing something in life. Then comes step two in the hero's journey, the call to adventure. Something happens in the hero's life which inspires them and invites them to venture into the unknown. Yeah, I found, uh, you know, Ungbok, the Tony Jaa film. I found that uh, maybe in two, uh, 2008. Yeah, 2008, early 2008, I found that and I was about 18. And I was like, yo, this is cool. I don't know what this is. And then I found out it was Muay Thai. I found a Muay Thai gym. And then six weeks later, I had my first fight. He quickly accepts the call to adventure and has his first Muay Thai fight six weeks later. In The Matrix, Neo gets the message to follow the white rabbit. He isn't sure what it means until someone knocks on his door and he sees they have a white rabbit tattoo. Disgruntled with his life, Neo accepts the call to adventure and goes with the group. Step three in the hero's journey is the refusal of the call. Most people get stuck in this stage and unfortunately never get to experience their hero's journey. Neo gets a call from Morpheus, which is an invitation to the special world. However, when he's on the ledge and getting information on how to cross, he decides against it and refuses the call, turning back. For Izzy, he was attending college and fighting Muay Thai as a hobby on the side. Unsure of whether to pursue fighting or college, he went back and forth with the idea of really chasing the dream. He was called from within after watching Ong Bak, but still wasn't sold on going for it. Step 4 in the hero's journey, the hero meets their mentor. The mentor in the hero's journey does not always have to be in person. Neo meets Morpheus, who would become his friend and mentor. For Adesanya, it would be Anderson Silva. He brought me into this game, you know? This guy inspired me to be, to be able to believe like, a skinny black guy can just come in here and f everyone up. So, he brought me into this game. Seeing a skinny black guy like him destroying people and being the absolute best in the world inspired Izzy and gave him the belief that he could also be great. Despite not meeting until years later, Silva would serve as Izzy's mentor from afar. The next step in the hero's journey is crossing the threshold. This is where the hero has to make a leap into the unknown. Neo is offered a red pill and a blue pill with no turning back. The blue pill would erase his memory and send him back to his old life. The red pill would keep him in the matrix and along the journey. Him taking the red pill is symbolic of him crossing the threshold of no going back. Izzy's crossing of the threshold was moving across the country to Auckland to pursue professional kickboxing away from everything he knew. Came into our room one day and said that I'm going to Auckland. I said, why? So I want to pursue my kickboxing career. I was devastated. He had been fighting locally and living at his parents' house, but took a chance and bet on himself. He knew that there was something more for him in this world, and he didn't know what it is, but he took a pop shot that it was this, and he believed it. City kickboxing in Auckland was by far the best fighting gym in the country, and he took a giant leap of faith to move there by himself. Next, allies, enemies, and tests. In this part of the journey, the hero meets his teammates, so to speak, who become indispensable on the journey. Neo meets Trinity and the rest of the team, but the hero also meets his enemies. In his case, Agent Smith is the enemy. 
For Adesanya, his allies would be his teammates at City Kickboxing. Under the guidance of coach Eugene Behrman, he would also become close friends with fighters such as Alex Volkanovski, Dan Hooker, Kai Kara France, and several others. These people would become more family than teammates and were an instrumental part of his journey. After years of training, including a storied kickboxing career in China, Adesanya would establish himself as one of the best kickboxers alive. Riding an 18-fight win streak, he would meet Alex Pajeda, who would emerge as the enemy and the test. Pajeda would snatch Israel's win streak away in a controversial decision. Pajeda would go on to be the Agent Smith of Israel's life, and the two of them would have bad blood for years to come. Next, approach to the inmost cave. This is the part of the story meant to put the hero through trials and tribulations that will make him strong enough to take on the final boss. For Neo, he trains with Morpheus in order to fight the agents in the Matrix. This part of the story is meant to make the hero evolve into who he needs to be to conquer the enemy. For Adesanya, after his first loss to Pajeda, he goes on a tear, winning 9 of his next 10 fights. With each fight, he rapidly improves. This would be his approach to the inmost cave, which evolved him and made him a much more improved version of himself. By the rematch, Izzy was ready to take on Alex Pajeda and avenge his loss. However, Pajeda was now a kickboxing world champion and had also greatly improved. The stakes were extremely high in their rematch, with the bad blood still brewing. An overconfident Israel Adesanya would enter the ordeal of the hero's journey. The ordeal is the big challenge in the story, which is always split up into two parts, death and rebirth. Neo goes back in the Matrix to rescue Morpheus and is confronted with the fight of his life. Against everyone's judgment, he risks his life in the biggest challenge yet in order to save Morpheus. For Israel, his ordeal is avenging his loss to Alex Pajeda. Even though it had only been a year since their first fight, Israel had managed to squeeze in 10 fights in that time, determined to prove himself and avenge his loss. In this fight, Israel was the best he'd ever been. He had an extremely promising first round where Pajeda was saved by the bell. In the next round, Israel got overconfident and was knocked out cold. The first part of the ordeal always has the hero facing death, either psychologically or physically. In The Matrix, when told he would need to decide on whether he or Morpheus would die, Neo chooses to sacrifice himself in order to rescue Morpheus. Neo looks death in the eyes during his rescue mission, but survives and makes it out on the other side much stronger. Israel gets even closer to death than Neo as Pajeda would knock him out cold, and Izzy would need oxygen and medical assistance to regain consciousness. This would be the most devastating loss of his entire career, and one of the most brutal knockouts of all time. Which brings us to Rebirth. In this part of the ordeal, the hero is reborn because of their psychological or physical death. After such a miraculous mission accomplished, Neo begins wondering if he's the one, and a new version of him is born. He's reborn psychologically as the old, unconfident version of him dies and the new Neo is born. In Adesanya's case, it is a physical rebirth. He switches sports and after 80 fights in kickboxing, he is reborn as a mixed martial artist. With his mastery in striking, he quickly shows he's levels above the competition with quick dominant wins. He makes it to the UFC quickly and ends up 6-0 within a year and a half. Not even two years after his debut in the UFC, Izzy challenges Robert Whittaker for the belt at UFC 243. After the ordeal, there's always a reward. Sometimes it's an interchange and sometimes it's a physical reward. In The Matrix, there's an interchange. Neo goes from wondering if he's the one to knowing with certainty that he is and unlocks his powers. For Israel, his reward is less an interchange and more an outer accomplishment. For him, it is a UFC middleweight belt. At UFC 243 in Australia, Izzy would go to Whitaker's backyard to face him for the title. Whitaker did not have an answer for Izzy as Izzy pieced him up and snatched the world championship belt from him in devastating fashion. Next, the road back. In this part of the journey, if the hero has not resolved the issue with the villain, it comes after him with a vengeance. For Neo, it's Agent Smith. Agent Smith is chasing him frantically, and no matter where Neo turns, Agent Smith is right behind him. In Israel Adesanya's life, it's Alex Pajeda who's chasing him. Even though Pajeda had beaten Israel twice in kickboxing, their grudge had still not been settled. It was especially evident when Adesanya did an interview in 2019 during his rise in MMA where he criticized Pajeda. At the end of the day, no one knows who the f he is, and he's going to be that guy when I'm world champion, when I'm a legend. He's going to be at some pub fucking some shit about, I beat that guy one time. This would spark a fire in Pajeda and motivate him to chase Adesanya into another sport. Pajeda would get a series of quick knockouts in the UFC, get fast-tracked to the belt, and challenge Israel Adesanya. Despite Adesanya comfortably winning the fight, Pajeda would come out guns blazing in the fifth round to score a TKO over Izzy, now going 3-0 in their rivalry in two different sports. Resurrection. 
In this part of the hero's journey, death is encountered one more time. The stakes are at their very highest. The hero uses all of the lessons learned on the journey to take on the final boss who has beaten him before. Neo is shot and killed by Agent Smith before coming back to life and fighting him again. Israel experiences a similar resurrection as after he's TKO'd he enters the battlefield one more time. With three losses against Pajeda, two of which coming by way of knockout, Z understands this fight has the absolute biggest stakes. Losing this fight will be the death of his career and legacy. With everything at stake, the hero gives him everything they've got. No. Finally, return with the elixir. The hero returns to the world with a new understanding. He uses the lessons of his journey to help others. It's the deep wisdom they've earned through their trials and tribulations that they give to others. Neo resolves to free people's minds, to unlock the programming that holds people from chasing their dreams. And Izzy does the same. You never feel this level of happiness if you don't go for something in your own life. When they knock you down, when they try and on you, when they talk about you and they try to put their foot on your neck. If you stay down, you will never ever get that resolve. Fortify your mind and feel this level of happiness as you rise. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave an airplane emoji so I know who watches all the way through. And if you want to find out how to step into your own hero's journey, check out this video here. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one.